Bay Area beach towns are bracing for Irma's one-two punch with the possibility of high winds and a dangerous storm surge. Peter Bernard joins us now live in Seminole. And, you know, you were saying to us earlier, it's like a ghost town down there. And typically on a weekend like this, places along the beach would be packed. Yeah, they'd normally be hopping. The pizza parlors going, people running around down there, enjoying the nightlife down there. But we were wondering why there were so many cars in this parking lot here in Seminole. Take a look around. There are about 100 cars in this parking lot. And then it dawned on us. There's not a bar nearby. The Wind dixie is closed. These cars are because the people who have uh, residences down on the Barrier Islands, this is high ground, they're trying to protect them from flooding. Gulf Boulevard on Indian Shores is mostly vacant, except for a heavy police presence. Homes and businesses are boarded up. Across the bridge in Seminole, workers close the doors at this rally store, not knowing when they'll open again. It was busy because everything was closed, so right now we have, uh, even cops were like, you need to leave, so it's time to close and go home. The convenience store is boarded up. A personal note on the plywood marks the event. While most are following advice to evacuate, some are planning to ride it out. The street does flood out front, and depending on, you know, the surge and what time the tides come in, we really need to look at that. Millie Colon and her boyfriend have relatives in Puerto Rico. Both are sleeping at the Largo High shelter after getting this advice. And when they saw it was coming this way, they say, run for your life. Even with a house fit for a Category 4 storm, this homeowner is getting out. We don't want to get stuck on the island. I mean, I think we feel safe with the... Uh, you know, three to five surge was expected, but we don't want to be stuck out here for days on end. Irma preps should be completed. Yeah, we are all set on home. We got some last snacks too, so <laughs> we are all set for home. Did you get him at rally? Yeah. All right. <laughs> of course. Here's something to note. Clearwater Causeway, the, the bridge, and also Gulf Boulevard are going to be closed at 6 o'clock. What's going to happen there is Clearwater Police are going to not allow any traffic onto the island starting at 6 in the morning, so do take a note of that. Jen? Uh, I'm curious uh, about the winds out there. We keep checking in at these various areas to see if the winds are picking up. W what are you noticing there? It's not bad right now, and I've got a wind gauge I'm going to hold up here. We are getting a slight gust there, but really nothing to speak of. Eight miles an hour. We had one of 17 miles an hour oh, about a half hour ago. So right now, the winds are not a factor. I'm going to have this with me as the storm rolls through. We'll be able to gauge it uh, real time right for you as it blows through. All right, Peter Bernard, live for us tonight in Seminole. Thank you, Peter.